So I'm sure many of you guys have already heard the news, but in case you haven't, uh, Ubuntu are going to be dropping the Unity desktop as their default desktop environment, starting with Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, this announcement was made on the Ubuntu Insights blog by Mark Shuttleworth himself, founder of Canonical and Ubuntu. Uh, in that post, it also outlined that uh, Ubuntu and Canonical were going to be withdrawing from the convergence and mobile markets as well as focusing more on what they consider to be the more successful aspects of their business uh, and that includes the Internet of Things and the cloud and they did also mention the desktop there among a few other projects. So today I'm going to focus mostly on the um, news about Ubuntu dropping the Unity desktop. But just before I get into that, I would like to talk a little bit about the them withdrawing from the mobile phone market as well, because to me, that always seemed like it was like never going to have that breakthrough, because I don't think Canonical had the kind of money that it would that would have been needed to break through into the mobile market. If you look at the biggest players, uh, you know, and uh, with Android and Apple, or, you know, sort of so you've got Google and Apple backing the two big operating systems, I think Microsoft, even Microsoft tried to make it into the mobile scene and they really didn't succeed particularly well. They've had some success on tablets, but uh, really, like if Microsoft can't make it, then Canonical really would have had to have brought something else to the table uh, for people to have, you know, for any kind of widespread adaptation. And that might have been Convergence, and I thought Convergence was a pretty neat idea, but it just never seemed to gain the traction that they expected it to get, which I guess is a, is a bit of a shame, but... That does mean that they do seem to be focusing on the areas of the company that are, are seeing some success. And I think that's generally a pretty good strategy to go in with, with any kind of business. It was good that they sort of experimented and innovated, but I think at this stage now, um, coming back to the um, Linux desktop and, and focusing on the cloud where they've had a great deal of success, uh, Internet of Things, maybe not so much. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of Internet of Things, and I share a lot of your guys' concerns about that, uh, particularly when it comes to having that much connectivity in your life. There are going to be you know, leaks and hacks and, and problems that really could otherwise have, have been avoided. Um, but you never know. I could get proven wrong on that. But i got to say, when it comes to the desktop environment side of things, when it comes to Canonical and um, Ubuntu dropping Unity as their default desktop environment, as much as a difficult decision this must have been to make, I feel that it was a step in the right direction, uh, a big step in the right direction, a leap in the right direction. I'm actually really quite happy about this news. Um, I've never been a fan of Unity, and it's not necess it's not just because Unity hasn't got the best workflow or it doesn't solve a problem better than any other desktop environment, although those things are true. It's just, it always felt like Ubuntu's attempt to step away from other Linux distributions, to sort of forge an identity of its own, but it was an identity that was separate from the ecosystem that created it. And I never that never uh, sat quite right with me. So now that they've adopted the, the GNOME, and of course uh, Ubuntu used to use the GNOME desktop before they came up with Unity, and they did implement a pretty good GNOME desktop. And this was around the time when Fedora had a GNOME desktop, when um, Debian had a GNOME desktop, I believe, when all of the big major um, Linux distributions had the, the GNOME desktop. There were a few there with, with KDE. Um, it, it did seem that, that GNOME was like the de facto uh, Linux desktop, and it did seem like there was like something of a... Com or it seemed like there were fewer desktops in the ecosystem. And... Um, and it and it would make sense that Unity uh, that Ubuntu would go back to the GNOME desktop. That does seem to be like their home. They could have gone down the the Mate route, but I always feel that Mate, as much as I love it as a desktop environment, it's a desktop environment for people that want a degree of customizability that I think your average um, computer user in general is probably not that interested in. And I do like the fact that GNOME by default does limit the customizability that you have because it makes it. Um, it makes it a bit more standardized and that makes it easier to do things like video tutorials and uh, visual documentation as well as um, you know a lot of people even power users they're not as much you know a lot of people out there who you would who, who, who you would consider power users a lot of the time they get their the the usability out of their operating system through things like the command line and, and uh, keyboard shortcuts and all that kind of stuff um, and don't necessarily require the customize uh, customization that you might get with other desktop environments. A lot of people I know just want to sit down and get work done. And if there is that standardized desktop environment, then that means there's less stuff to get used to effectively. Um, 
And I do think that the GNOME 3 desktop environment actually is a really well-designed environment. Like, it is innovative, um, and it, it does... Uh, it alters your workflow that a lot of people, I feel, would would get an improved workflow out of it, especially given that nowadays the average person probably uses uh, a large number of applications that you can just press the the meta key or the Windows key or whatever you want to call it, and then just type like the first three letters of any application, and it, there's a good chance that it will pop right up there. Um, but if you only use you know six or seven or eight or even maybe a dozen or so applications, then you can um, put them into your favorites bar on the left hand side of the dashboard, and then you know you've got quick quick access to them there. Um, and I also one of the things I do love about the GNOME 3 desktop is that you can just move your mouse into the top left hand corner, and suddenly all your windows are, and all your desktops and your favorite icons are all displayed there right in front of you. You've got everything that you needed, and um, it just show, you know it's a really good use of the dashboard and the really good use of screen real estate and a really good um really good workflow as well and, and innovative as well so um yeah i think that uh, it definitely is uh, a step in the right direction and it's definitely an improvement um also you know and i think that there are benefits um and big advantages to having the desktop environment that they use their de facto desktop environment as being a very common desktop environment it's the default for antergos it's the default for Fedora pretty much. Um, what else is it? Uh, it's uh, pr pretty prominent on um, uh, OpenSUSE. Uh, so you do see the GNOME desktop around a lot. So uh, it, do it does seem that Ubuntu as a Linux distribution, it feels like it's more part of the fold than it was before this announcement. So I've got to say, definitely pretty happy with it. Um, and uh, and I look forward to to what's to come. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And um, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.